Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Animal Crossing Island tour video. In this video, guys, we're going to an island that has not only some of the most beautiful scenery and is decorated for Halloween. It's a little spooky vibe. It also has trick-or-treat stations outside each of the houses with little tiny presents for me that I can take. It's such a cute idea. I really thought this was like over and above. It's really going to add to the experience, guys. And if you guys want to see an interview with this island's creator, make sure you stick around to the end. There's going to be an interview as well as footage of the island during a different time of day so that you can get the full experience. And as usual, guys, if you like this sort of video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe with notifications so you don't miss any future episodes or live streams. All right, let's get on to the video. And we have a <laughs> and we have arrived on the island. Happy Halloween, Kale. Thank you so much. And they have per. Oh my goodness, they have. It's so foggy. What is this? This is so cool, guys. Do you see all this fog? Oh my gosh, and the flyover was immaculate, but you didn't see the fog. And they have all these presents out front for me. <laughs> They're dressed up so spoopily. I love this so far. This is incredible. Wow. Okay, let's let's open this up. A pinwheel. <laughs> frugal hat. Frugal outfit and frugal shoes. Mage's boots. Okay, am I going to look like a peasant? <laughs> or a scarecrow or something? What am I going to look like? Yeah, I kind of look like a scarecrow or something. It actually f totally fits <laughs> with <laughs> my uh, skin color right now. So actually, let's quickly look at... Oh, they're giving me a little <laughs> clap. Let's look at this beautiful map. This is so unique. Look at the way on the left, top left corner, it just moves down to the secret beach. That is just incredible. And it looks like there's a maze on the right side. And they have one, two... In three houses, but one of them is a tent. So we have a ghost, Elza, and Kale. I wonder if we're going to see a ghost. This is really exciting. Look at their villagers too. Absolutely immaculate. All right, guys. Now let's check out the passport. Happy Halloween. Yes, exactly. Partially obscured something or other. <laughs> what? <laughs> and their name is Kale. And again, guys, the dream address is right there at the bottom. So if you want to go and visit this yourself, please do it. Go visit Moonscar Island. All right, and we are ready to go. So we're starting off here. Oh, we have candy on the ground and everything. Everything. Oh, look at the jack-o'-lantern land paper lanterns. Yeah, I guess that's what they are. We have little little bits and bobs everywhere. Everything is Halloween colored and there's an archway there, but we're not going to go there yet. We have someone staying at the campsite, which is actually really lucky to have it populated and have it foggy on the same day. They have done a lot of planning, I think, to be able to get it like like that. Like to get everything get red here on today. We get the fog and the leaves falling, as well as a campsite villager here. Avast there, army matey. <laughs> Are you enjoying the video? <laughs> that was awful. That was awful. But this is so cool. We have a pirate ship that looks like it's run aground. But this is just so cool, and it fits the Halloween theme perfectly. It'll fit. It fits. Oh, don't, I almost grabbed the gold. That could have been bad. But uh, <laughs> this is absolutely stunning. We have the bells laid around and everything of that nature. All right, so we're going to move on really quickly. Back up north. We're actually underneath the maze, it, or I think it's a maze. And that's just uh, amazing. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> I just like my puns sometimes too, but that, that one just had to be said. So we're going here to the left. And actually, I do think that this is where the arch went from. Yeah, that is, that's the arch from before. That is, that's really cool. And wait. Oh, they're transforming. Oh, back into their cute cell. Oh, look at the little devil wings they have on. It's so hard to see where we're going next because of the fog. Oh, this is resident services. And we have a skull moon. That's actually really cool. It reminds me of Majora's Mask a little bit. Ooh. Ooh, what is this? Is this... It's almost like a fairy ring? Wow, you can sit on all of these things. That's so cool. <laughs> Let's give him a little, little applause here. <laughs> I wonder what this is, though. 
And we have the pumpkins just laid around. It's a fairy single, single, <laughs> fairy circle, <laughs> single. I don't know why I said, oh, because I was going to say this is in a circle, right? <laughs> so I said fairy single. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. But that's really cool. And now we're going into a creepy maze. And it reminds me again, another Zelda reference just in my head, maybe. It reminds me of the Lost Woods in Breath of the Wild more. Don't get lost. Yeah, I'll try my best not to. <laughs> I do not want to get lost whatsoever. This is so cool. Wait, wait, what? Oh, okay. Look at all the jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. Oh, no, we got to go around here. Wait, what? Okay. I already did get trapped a little bit. I'm not exactly the best at that. Oh, we have a wetsuit there. Interesting. So that you can always go swimming at any time you want. There you go. You don't even need to have it in your inventory. It's just there. Ready to go. I'm a huge fan of people using different types of flowers and trees in their builds. But here, not only are they using different types of trees, they're also in fall. So the trees are all of different colors. And I am a huge fan of that. What is this? Is this like a little photo spot? Photo time! Oh, that's so cute. Wait, let's, uh... <laughs> ah, there we go. Cute photo taken. <laughs> that's adorable. Oh, let's get off of here. I couldn't jump that way. And we're still in the maze. The maze actually leads to some really nice areas, which is really, really cool. Oh, there's something standing there in the background. Oh, it's a ghost! That's a robe that just looks like it's a ghost. That is really cool. That is a really cool use of a shirt. Or a robe, rather. Like a custom design. Huh. We're gonna go across this bridge into the fog. What is this? What a grand table. I love how everything is just... They're all mismatched seats. I absolutely love this style. A very merry unbirthday. Oh my god. And then we're gonna move up north even more. This is just a really cool, really cool island so far. It has so much character. Oh, the music. <laughs> we're gonna go up here to. Oh wow, what a great use of this little rock formation up here. The, having the lighthouse on it actually just looks so cool. Wow. Oh, we have the little, um, what is that? Is that cuttlefish? That's really, really nice. I'm going to give this a little blow a pinwheel as they transform into Jack. There we go. They're back into Jack. All right, we're back here crossing the spoopy bridge, and we're going to go backtracking through the maze. Oh, wait, we're not backtracking at all. We're going to the left. We're up here at the pumpkin patch. Just look at how dynamic everything is. All oh, the depth, the fog. This is... Oh my god, it's a log bridge! That's genius. That is impressive. Who thought of that? That is incredible. We're in the little pumpkin patch. As is illustrated by, <laughs> of course, the sign. And we're here beside one of the houses. Oh, we have... A nice pumpkin carving. This is where you carve pumpkins. Yes. You can go. Oh, we can get jack-o'-lanterns made that way. Oh, and this is one of the trick-or-treating things. Oh, when they said outside the houses, I thought they meant... I thought that they meant outside, like, the character houses, but no, outside the animal houses. So I'm going to get such a treat here. We've got a spooky wand. Let me hold that. That's amazing. Oh, it's so cute. Look at all the Halloween themed presents I'm going to get. I'm even more excited now. And there's like a potion stall or something of the sort up there. And I think we're going to go check that out right now, actually. So we go up here. Oh, this is Nook's Cranny. Candles and potions. I can see that. Wow, that's really, really good entrance. I love how it's like, it's just such like a secluded area. Not secluded, but going through the trees touching each other and also that arch, it just really makes it really pretty. It reminds me of my graveyard on my island. 
But what's important now is this island. And we have poison apples. <laughs> I'm glad that they marked them as poison apples. Otherwise, uh, that could be a couple uh, lawsuits waiting to happen. <laughs> so. Go down here. And this is a moon-shaped kind of like pond. Going across another bridge. The more bridges, the more dynamic. And we're actually back at the airport. What? I didn't even realize that. It just went so like fluid and we just went through and we're back at the entrance without even feeling like we went in a circle really good pathing we have another present for me oh my gosh let's see what this is uh we got a present here and it is red sparklers <laughs> let's light it really quick there we go <laughs> just gonna oh my goodness i've got you have to wait a while for this to finish so uh See you guys in a second. All right, that took a little bit longer than I anticipated. So through the power of editing, we are now moved on. Going past this really spooky beach. We're at yet another house with another present for me. Oh my goodness, I am absolutely spoiled. I believe this is Audie's house. Bubble blowers. Oh my goodness, I'm getting absolutely spoiled here. Okay, now we go up. We're going to go across the bridge. No, we're going to go up here first. More cannons. Another pirate treasure area. And the money tree just fits the pirate theme so well. What, what do we have here? Oh. What? Look at this. The way they have the miniature trees. It looks like we're so high. Oh my gosh. Guys, do you see this? I'm speechless. It speaks for itself with the fog and everything that is immaculate. Oh my dynamic. <laughs> Apple? Um you said they were poisoned though. You 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 said they were they were poisoned. Uh I I could have an apple. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not going to eat the apple. We're going to we're going to wait because I remember some of them were poisoned, and I don't know if this is the poison part. I think it actually is. And we're going across. They made this look like a bridge, too. And it is so pumpkin-y. Oh, my gosh. This is the ultimate, the ultimate Halloween island thus far that I've ever seen. This is incredible design. Oh, my gosh. And I forget what those are called, but they're, like, really, really, really big deers <laughs> moose something of the sort that looks so ominous in the background with the fog you know the pumpkin items ah oh, this is i'm i don't know what to say guys it's my job to commentate this but i i it speaks for itself so we go here across this bridge more candy on the floor Oh, you can see some people in the background there. I guess they're just standing there working. And we're going into... This is the Able Sisters. And as you can see, people are designing the, the clothing right there. So they were working. And it's just like Nook's Cranny. Just like Nook's Cranny. They have it hidden and secluded. And it just fits the theme so well. It's crazy. It actually looks like a haunted house a little bit. And speaking of haunted houses, I can't wait to go inside and check out their houses themselves. I'm actually really excited to see what they've done. So we're down here at another like kind of like botany place. And oh, there we go. <laughs> Man, ah, uh, these presents are so amazing. I'm glad I didn't botany before this. <laughs> Get it? Botany of them? <laughs> I'm so bad. I That was a stretch. That was a stretch. I did my best, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> Hay rides for five cents. That's a... That's a deal. That's a, that's a really good deal. Oh! There we go. We're on the little hay ride. That's adorable. That is adorable. And we have like some sort of building in the background here, too. I noticed that. <laughs> they're, they're telling the horsies to go. <laughs> that's really cute. They've really thought of absolutely everything. Oh, 
Oh, what? We have grape hats. Oh, it's a vineyard, right? Oh, and we have some lavender here with the bees and the apiary. Go through this arch. Another skull. Or <laughs> skull. Fossil. Moon car. Moon scar island peppers. Oh. What a... What a unique idea. These budding flowers are peppers. That is so cool. I'm blown away. Blown away. They are just... So big brain. So big brain. The little things that, like, who would think of that? They're peppers? What? It's such dedication to this game. Like, the, people impress me more and more every time I tour an island. There's always a couple things that I have never seen before. And it's just, wow. So some more beach decoration to a <laughs> another present. Oh my goodness. I... All right, let's see what this one is. More blue sparklers. The other ones were red, I believe. I'm going to have like every cool item in the game. Seriously. My storage is getting full, though. <laughs> I don't know if I can fit them all. And now we have a laundry area. Oh, shiver down my spine from the, the water sounds there. A little ASMR. And we go up to the north of here. We go to the right. We have some gold on the ground. I just want to take it. Take it. No, don't take it. Don't take it. It's a bad idea. Ooh, this is the diagonal area going to red. This is so cool. It looks immaculate on the map and it's so di dynamic as it goes diagonal. Diamic. What? Diagonalic? Diagonalic. How would you say that? I don't know. I'm off topic, though. This is really good. <laughs> We're going to go up to red, naturally. Oh, it's your cousin. Of course. Everyone's cousin, red. Everyone's favorite cousin. Oh, wait, what? Oh, can we actually squeeze behind here? We can, and there's even more stuff. That is really smart. Using the top of the map to loop around. Rather than having to backtrack, we can see this entirely new area. That's brilliant. It's like a post office almost. Yeah, I think it's a post office. With more candy just littered about. <laughs> I love the use of totally different types and shades of flowers. Really adding to the experience. We have pearls and all this these goodies on the ground, which absolutely fits Red's theme. And instead of, again, backtracking, we're going directly back. And this was... The seeming building that I saw in the background when we were on the hayride. Hey, that's pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> so let's go back here. I wonder what's next. We haven't been inside any of the houses yet. And we're going to go. Oh, this is where the Abel sisters was. We have a little Christmas tree. And oh, there's Eric tries his best. <laughs> Nintendo talk is quaking right now. <laughs> Nintendo talk is a portable gong. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. And we have another log bridge. Fresh cut trees all preparing for Christmas. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, we have like the nutcracker over there. Those happy birthday candles. They're very Halloween-y, but they're also like kind of ominous a little bit. It's like a very uncomfortable happy birthday. Yeah, with this music too? Makes me kind of uncomfortable. Oh, I do see a present back there. <laughs> oh, I blew out the... There we go. I blew out the candles by accident, but I wanted to make sure I put them back. I'm going to get this present and see if I can uh, check it. Oh, look at the floor mat outside the door. It says boo. Have there been... Has that been there every single one? That's really cute. That's a custom design that you can put there. That's so cute. Kiki's birthday party. Oh, that's so cool. It's for Kiki. That fits Kiki's theme so well. And now we're on to like a bakery. Or as I like to call it, a bread shop. If anybody, anyone been around that long watching my videos when I call the bakery a bread shop because, or did I say bread, bread store? Yeah, I think I called it a bread store. 
Oh, man. No, commentating is hard work. <laughs> to not be small brain. Oh, we're here at those giant moose. Or what, whatever they were. Ancient moose. Or something like that. And we're getting close to the museum. I wonder how they decorated that. Kiki, happy birthday! We got Mr. Twiddle. We have a... Kind of like a bar here. Yeah, it is a bar. It's just a spooky one. Oh, another apple. No, I, I'm good. I'm I'm good. I don't I don't want to eat the poisoned apples. He's really trying to <laughs> poison me here. All right, so we move on to this, and we move up. <gasps> what? Oh, that's like a dragon. It reminds me of that tour I did way back where they had kind of a wyvern. Maybe this is a wyvern. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> cute little emote. That's so cool. It's a dig site where they dug up an ancient dragon. That's so cool. Let's move up here and another present. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm going to get 10 presents. Oh, they shouldn't have. They really shouldn't have. Oh my goodness. More party poppers. The portable gong is by far my favorite. If you, you guys know me, y'all know me. That's, that's just me. Portable gong all the way. <laughs> so we move on here. Back to the left and now we get to go up. Ooh, we got some houses here. More spoopy stuff. Is this a graveyard? It does. It looks like a graveyard. Ooh, we have a little ghost in the background. I love those robes that look like ghosts and the monochrome decorated uh, Halloween items. Those are really cool. Ooh, what is this? Oh my gosh, you can see the eyes staring at you as you get closer. And the, the way that they have this custom design, but also these like dividers or whatever that make it really, really look epic and <laughs> dynamic. That's so cool. I think they thought I got stuck, but I was really just trying to show it. Oh, I hear... Oh, that's a really cool, cool sound, having the... the Projector, that's what it's called. The projector. <laughs> I forgot the word for a second. And we have the exit to the mines. Maybe they're just two different ones, but... That's really cool. And we have the dig site there to the left. And now we have the campsite. Of the ghost... Ooh. All right, guys, I'll see you in... Oh, <laughs> I'll see you inside. Oh, what? This is really, really interesting. It's right beside the dig site, so it fits. And it's owned by a ghost. I remember on the map it said ghost, like a ghost. And that was the uh, character. I'm going to let them... Yeah, I'm just going to let them exit first because I was blocking them completely. This is really cool. I love how the height of everything. It really, really interesting. All right, and we exit now. Oh, they're transforming one final time. Hex side. Oh. What the hex did they transform into? <laughs> It's okay, I hate myself too, <laughs> sometimes. That was a good one though. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go back. And they're leading us to the left now. Oh, past the graveyard, back down here. It's a really well done part of the island. The ambiance is just amazing. The vibes, immaculate. Grave, dead. Guys, and now we're entering the graveyard. It's also known as the dead center of town. What the heck? I'm trying. I'm out, I'm out here trying to make puns and what? Uh, what? What? The heck was that? Um. Okay. Uh. Do they have another person on the island? What? Oh my goodness! I was. I was gonna make. Okay, I saw nothing. Okay, so we're here at the dead center of town, also known as the graveyard. <laughs> Did you know, guys, that people are just dying to get into graveyards? 
<laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Wait, is that candy for me? <gasps> was I supposed to take that? Okay, I'll take it anyway. Um, I'll, I'll give it back if I wasn't supposed to. I'm still kind of on edge. That actually kind of... That kind of made me uncomfortable. I was... I, I, I can't say I was uh, expecting that. What the heck? That was... Com I can't get over that, guys. I'm actually kind of paranoid. Are they following me? Like, where were they? Where are they hiding? Where did they go? Because when you have people on the island, you can't, like, pick things up. What? Okay. So, <laughs> we're back here. We're getting close to one of the houses. Oh, and yes, we are. We have more ghosts and stuff there. Oh, we have the creepy music. Oh, my gosh. Well, let's go inside this house, the little haunted house. Oh, this isn't spoopy. This is very pretty. What? I love all the greenery in here. It's an ASMR room. Okay, guys, let's just relax and enjoy this. Hey, guys, this is Che ASMR. You guys can listen. And this is also a reminder to like the video if you haven't already and subscribe because uh, if you're not subscribed yet, you're crazy. All right, we're going to go move on to the room to the right. Will it be a bathroom? I don't know. Ooh, now this is a spooky room. I love it. Oh, turn camera. Oh my goodness, there's Jack. Oh, <laughs> I love that painting of Jack. That is so cool. Love it. And I also love this um, kind of like stick circle. I don't know. It's supposed to be like a wreath. But it just looks <laughs> so creepy. I love the new emotes and everything about Halloween. I'm so happy. It just looks like a little altar on top of the uh, fireplace. Am I blocking them? I am blocking them. All right. Time to go to the next room. All right. And now we're going to go upstairs. Yes. Upstairs is next. Ooh, this is so cozy. Oh, I love it so much. This is such a cozy area. I would love to spend all day in here. Oh, look at all the paintings on the wall. Oh, rather, photographs on the wall. That is just immaculate. I love it. Wow. And next up, we have the room to the north. Oh, it's a pirate theme. Oh, I love it! What? And we have the Cancer statue, uh, the, the Zodiac statue, holding up the gold bars and it just fits so nicely. The organ, this really feels like, like it's, uh, we're actually in the ship, the uh, cabin, or I guess uh, where the, the captain's quarters would be. This is so cool. Well, maybe it's not the captain's quarters, but it, it's at least the captain's half. <laughs> Get it? Because like quarters and uh, I'll see myself out. All right. And next up we have the basement. Now this, I'm going to bet, is like a spoopy dungeon or something. That's what I'm expecting. Another pirate themed area. This is so cool. <laughs> wow. wow. This is where they hoard all of their treasure. Oh my goodness, a pirate's life is a life for me. Well, rather, I look like I'm a peasant's life more like, but you know what? Whatever. I'm just peasantly surprised by this island. <laughs> oh, they're transforming? No, they are not. We are going back upstairs. All right, and now last but not least for this house, we're going to the left. Ooh. Christmas, <laughs> Christmas, hey, Christmas. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is so cozy. Wow, it's like a cabin during Christmas. That is like the best place to spend it. Wow, so lovely. Now this is also an ASMR room. Anytime stale cupcakes is playing, it's ASMR to me. So cozy. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh my god, the ghost is outside. Oh my god. The ghost is here again. What the heck, guys? 
<laughs> what are they doing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and they just run away. Oh my. That's really cool. I, I don't know if they're controlling two characters or the, if they have a friend here or what's happening. But this is so, <laughs> so creepy. They ran off into the island somewhere. And I just don't know where I'm going to see them next. But honestly, the chills that went down my spine when I saw them run, like the, the whatever, the nun run in the background of the gravesite when I was trying to make a pun, it was completely catching me off guard. All right, and we're taking a detour here. We're taking a detour on D-tour. <laughs> I get it. We're crossing another log bridge, which is just so cool. And we're going to the second house. And... Based on the music that was just playing, is this another pirate place? Because I really like how they're designing the pirate stuff. Let's go see. Ooh. Oh, there's a gong. There's a gong. Okay, put away. I don't need the polar portable gong anymore. I got the full-on gong. Hey, <laughs> I love it. Thank you for including it just for little old me. <laughs> it's a tattoo parlor? Is it? Oh, this is just so cool. Ooh. Have a seat, please. Um, okay. <gasps> I'm getting a tattoo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I would like a mom tattoo, but that's this is the first time I've seen a tattoo parlor. This is so cool. They must have tattoos in real life. I'm going to ask them about that during the interview at the end of this tour. This is just such a unique theme. All right, and next we are going to the left. Ooh, more tattoos. Okay, this is just a perfect, no, this is a piercing. <laughs> I'm gonna be so cool by the end of this. This is, I'm gonna be so badass. Oh, I really love this, the witchy vibe in here too, the black and purple and red style. Really thematic. They're really going above and beyond decorating this area. Alright, and that's it for that house. But we have one final place to go, and I believe it's the Treasure Island, which the only way to get there is through pole vault and ladder. So let's go check that out. Oh my gosh, what the heck? The <laughs> <laughs> They're just straight chilling around here. Oh my goodness. I'm watching you. Oh my goodness. I wanted to keep an eye on them to, to see if they were going to move, but they just stood there. Uh, wait, they're digging something up? Let's take a ladder real quick. What? I can't see where we're going. What? What is happening? <gasps> Ooh, you have to dig up something in order to get here. This is cool. You never would guess this was here, and I have to wait for them to pole vault, and then I'm gonna take my turn. This is so cool. Uh, let's go to the pole vaults. Yeet! Oh, we're on the treasure island. So cool. And guys, that is it for this tour, but guys, stick around for the interview portion as well as viewing this island. I think at nighttime it would be really cool with all of these Halloween items. All right, and now we are here with the island creator, Kale. Kale, first off, thank you, number one, for uh, being patient with me. Right now, it's actually like around midnight for you <laughs> over in uh, PST, over on the West Coast. But I really appreciate you inviting me over to your island. I'm just blown away at every turn, the time of day you had, and the pathing. Every Oh, amazing. Chef's kiss. Mwah. Thanks so much. So, tell us a bit about yourself, just starting off. Um... So I'm a graphic designer and um, I'm currently furloughed from my job at Disneyland um, and I've just been playing Animal Crossing for months on end. My island creation has literally been my sole quarantine activity um, <laughs> and that's basically my only personality trait these days. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's you work at Disney. Yes. That is cool. How do you like working there? That, that, that has to be fun or is it stressful or what? Um, I thought it would be stressful, but it's actually really fun, and I miss it so Aww. much. 
Yeah. <laughs> Some people are missing working at this point. <laughs> I think for quarantine, sure. like even a boring job, it's like, I'll, I'll do anything just to leave <laughs> the house, right? Yeah. <laughs> so this this insane island, oh my goodness, so much detail in it. And of course, you updated it for Halloween. How many hours have you spent? Um, Almost 1,900 hours. Oh. I checked and it was like 1885. 1885 oh my god yeah this is my original island um i like re um, i flattened it basically um in june i started over um just on the same island so that's why i have so many hours stacked up but i have like built it up twice oh uh, what was your old island like um, it wasn't anything specific. I, I never played any Animal Crossing games before. This is my first one. So it was just like random bits and here and there. And then I saw everybody's like, I'm a restart, I'm a restart. And I was like, oh, I could do that. But I didn't want to restart the game. I didn't want to deal with the DIYs and all that. So I just flattened it. And I had actually done my girlfriend's island a couple weeks before. I had flattened her island and redid it. And that, that took me two weeks. And I think mine took me like two and a half months. Oh my goodness. Flattening an island, that just sounds like tragic. Like if I had to flatten my island, I don't think I could do it. <laughs> At that yeah. point, it's just like, but honestly, you, uh, it's, I'm just blown away by this. So I'm glad you did flatten it. And <laughs> it's amazing <laughs> that you, yeah, you are too. Yeah. So how would you describe your theme? Because even before Halloween, it was kind of spooky, wasn't it? Yeah. So I call my theme haunted cottage core mm -hmm. or just like halloween themed um i've always like halloween is like my brand and i wanted it to be spooky before i even knew what we were going to get in the game um i just wanted to like create the perfect halloween night like the way that you see trick-or-treating in old movies um oh yeah and then, like back when i very very first got the game and i was picking a name i picked moonscar just because of scooby-doo on zombie island i love that movie and I thought that would be like a funny thing and it worked out really well because then we got a bunch of pirate gulliver stuff mm -hmm. that plays really well into the pirate theme of that movie and it kind of just evolved from there like moonscar even sounds spooky so it kind of just <laughs> worked out that way it just works perfectly yeah that's really cool and like another really cool thing that just popped into my head is that all the craters on the moon like the man on the moon is actually a scar like it's it's things hitting it and scarring it permanently so i don't know it's a really yeah. really cool name when i first heard it i thought it was really clever that's awesome. That's awesome. What was, what's your favorite area on the island? If you just had to choose one, I know it might be hard, but what would be number one on your list? Um, so I think it changes depending on what I'm working on and like what I'm creating. But I think right now it's probably Kiki's yard just because I wanted to celebrate her birthday forever on my island. Cause I love her so much. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Probably Kiki. Yeah, it was cute. The birthday candles there and actually in the distance, I remember seeing the happy birthday. They were actually Halloween colors, which is crazy. I didn't know you could do that. And uh, like in the background, it almost looked just the candles themselves in the fog was actually really creepy. I, I love that. I love that area, too. I'm super proud of that one. <laughs> and also, thank you for giving me the 10 presents, one for every single house. Well, you didn't have to do that for little old yeah. me. Like... <laughs> It's trick-or-treating, you know? We're still social distancing, we're still quarantining, so come trick-or-treat on Moonscar. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, that's so nice. Also, guys, the dream address to go to this amazing island will be in the description on the video. Actually, I'll throw it on the screen right here, too. So there you go. You guys can check it out and uh, go trick-or-treating yourselves, I guess. <laughs> so, for your island, you have... Obviously have it as haunted cottage core, Haunted core, if you will. <laughs> but, uh, like... When it's Christmas, what are you gonna do there? Are you are you gonna change it up, or are you pretty much done? Um, I'm probably not gonna change it a ton. I'm always like updating things and reworking areas that start to feel kind of stale, um, just because I I watch every single stream and every single video done of my island. I see what people react to and what doesn't really get a reaction. I'll, I'll like go and rework it. Um, but I have seen my island with snow, and it does look cool. So I'm probably just going to play like December months during actual December, because I'm in November right now in the game. I mm. always bounce between November and October. So I'll probably add snow at some point um, in my dream, but I'll have to rework some of the decor because it does look cool, but I, de I definitely do need to redecorate some areas. Um, and I'm going to try to do like a Nightmare Before Christmas thing, but it'll probably just be like more of the vibes and not like Jack and Sally walking around. 
Oh yeah, no, that's that's true. Nightmare Before Christmas is an amazing thing. Oh man, this is this is so cool. So many ideas that you could do. Uh, but honestly, after almost two thousand hours, I think. Are you feeling any burnout at all? Um, I'm surprised that I haven't felt burnout, just because I was expecting to. I see everybody else doing it, <laughs> but I think it's just because I think the Halloween actual update revamped it a little bit mm-hmm. because I got to you know replace everything with pumpkins and for some reason every time i'm like my island's done my brain's like you know what why don't you switch out all your custom codes i'm like okay (laughs) okay that that's interesting and i also think that maybe it's a reason you're not burnt out is because you are watching people's i guess reviews and reactions to your island it kind of it gives you ideas you know a lot of the time i think people are getting burnt out because they're like "Eh, i don't know what to do or they're not inspired but when you when you uh have a couple ideas and you don't know what to do with it it's just kind of a creates little blank canvases for you, I think. You know what I mean? Like when someone doesn't, I mean, it's a weird way to say it, but if someone like doesn't like a certain area, you can be like, huh, okay, well, maybe I had this idea anyway, so maybe I'll try it like that. And it's like a evolving process, yeah. you know? Yeah, and I see like what people like react positively to, and I'll like accentuate that if I can and whatnot. But I always try to like take people's like positive criticisms into account, or like if they have any suggestions, I'm like, you know what, that sounds cool, let's, let's add that. <laughs> Oh, yes. See, yeah, that's exactly. You got to taking, I guess, constructive criticism is really important. And that's how you get uh, to amazing results like this. Because you're a graphic designer. You understand art. You never get it right on the first revision, right? Like, Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Yeah, so you mentioned, actually, uh, already that you flattened your island before. And did you have this kind of plan beforehand to make something like this or did you just experiment with things and place and pick up and to even figure out the general theme um i knew i wanted it to be halloween and i knew i wanted it to be cottagecore because that was like right when the rise of cottagecore hit it was Mm -hmm. like middle of june um and so all i really did was i i found the dead center of my island and i wanted a central hub with four bridges so that's like the exact center like i counted out the tiles that was the only thing that was like super planned uh was the spacing of that area and then everything else just kind of popped up around it and like the entire left side of my island wasn't even in like the fifth revision it, it didn't come for like months later so everything kind of just like builds off of itself wow okay that's really interesting yeah i i, I like that and so like the part that um really struck me is how did you get the ideas for like for example the bridge but having the trees down there did you see that or were you like one of the first people to do it and experiment with it so i'd seen the bridge used in other ways Mm -hmm. before and i originally had water um on either sides of that area and then i saw um colin crossing on instagram he has an area where it's like a lookout point and he has done the same thing with the trees that's where i got it from was him Um, And in the fog, it looked really cool. And I was like, I could try that on this area and see if that would look good. And I tried it and I didn't post about it. I just uploaded my dream. And then somebody shared a picture from their visit before I posted it. And I was like, oh, no, because I just didn't. I wanted Colin to get the credit. And so I quickly posted and I was like, this is Colin's work. This is not my idea. Mm -hmm. I just didn't want him to think I stole it or anything like that. But I saw it on his and his was really cool. And I was like, I could try this. And it worked out so that was good yeah of course it's always about building you, you don't mimic but you you take inspiration because like i mean at this point very few things are 100 percent original like come on that's that's yeah. art you build on the past and yeah that's another big problem that happens with a lot of my friends who have amazing islands people just go into their dream address and either post it as their own content pretending don't credit so good 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 on you for uh making sure colin got his credit yeah he did he does really amazing work his instagram is awesome well, I'll go check it out. For the custom designs, you have you have so many, and of course you've updated them to be more Halloween-y, especially as time went on. Did you make any of them yourself, or any of them your custom ones, or did you find them all online? Um, so most of the path ones are not my own. Um, like, you know, like the typical The Path TM. <laughs> yes. That code um, was created by Sam, who I can't remember. 
their username at the moment, but um, they have a really cool pumpkin path code that when I saw it, I basically died, and I haven't used any other path code since then because I think it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, I've created just like the signs around my island, so like the pumpkin patch sign, the hayride sign, and then um, the eyes by the museum, the cave, mm -hmm. and the jack-o'-lantern that's on the paper lanterns. Yeah, that was so cool. And then the candy on the floor. I think those are like the ones that I've done. I might try to do a hay, no, a corn maze sign, but we'll see. It takes like six hours. Oh yeah, that stuff takes a long time. That's interesting. And also, I'll have, if, if you'll do me, the honor of giving me the Q, Q, not the QR codes, the uh, creator codes for the custom designs you have there so that when people are watching and they're like, oh, wait, I, I want that, uh, they can just check the description and get it. I'd really appreciate that. Yeah, I had a running list, but since I updated like more than half of them, I have to redo it. <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> So for the people watching right now, do you have any advice? It doesn't matter if it's specific to like a theme like this or just in general when playing. Um, so people ask me a lot on Instagram for advice. And what I usually tell everybody is just trust the process, especially when it comes to designing cottage core or like terraforming. Because um, planning isn't always best since those designs tend to be more sporadic, like with placement of items and floor tiles. Um, so just like take your time and if something doesn't look amazing just don't rush it um and like if you don't like an area don't be afraid to tear it down and start over again like my apple orchard was like six spaces to the left and i hated the placement so i literally tore the whole thing down and moved it over oh my god i i had to do that i had to move something two spaces so i had to tear it all down and rebuild it it's like but it was worth it in the end right the process yeah, it's, <laughs> it's worth it because like now the bridge like connects because it didn't do that before so it, it's always worth it and also like if you're stuck on thinking of like designs for an idea like for my example mine would be the museum it's the last thing i could design because i couldn't think of anything i just moved on to a different area and just waited till like that specific inspiration hit and it took like a couple weeks but it was helpful to just not try to force something and just let it come naturally um and then i think lastly just don't expect everything to be perfect quickly or right away like i'm on months and months of revisions and remodels and i still don't love certain areas so just like just be patient and trust the process very good advice very very good and so last but not least if people want to catch up with you contact you reach out or just see some of the updates and posts about your island do you have any social media that people can keep up to date with you Yes, I have an Animal Crossing specific Instagram and Twitter. On Instagram, it's underscore moonscar.island. And then on Twitter, it's underscore moonscar island. Amazing. Thank you. And that'll be again on the screen and also in the description right at the top. Thank you, Kale. This was a great interview. You killed it. Great answers. You killed it for the, the <laughs> island too. So yeah, I'm really excited for people to go and see this. Thank you again for the pleasure of letting me tour. Thank you as well. I really appreciate you coming to visit. <laughs> you take care. Dynamic.